Hello, you all. Um, first and foremost, I like to give God all the praise and all the glory because He's worthy to be praised. I like to thank God for all His grace and all His mercy that kept us alive today. I want to thank God for waking us up when He didn't have to wake us up this morning. God is good um, all the time. And I had supposed to make a video about why the enemy tried to keep me at home Sunday from church. But I'll come on here later talking about that. But uh, I want to thank you all as well for supporting my videos. Uh, I give God all the glory and all the praise because God is God is worthy to be praised because God uses me to reach out to the lost souls, to reach out to the people that's hurt, been abused, or what they may be going through. You know, I didn't been there before. Nobody can't tell you about yourself, but yourself. That makes sense. I don't know, but. <laughs> Nobody can't tell you about yourself because only you know what you didn't been through. You know, we didn't not, we don't look like what we didn't been through, and we didn't been through some stuff probably within these years. But God is still good. Every time you wake up in the morning, that's a blessing from God. And I always tell people, always start your day off with a prayer. I always thank God as soon as you open your eyes because God didn't have to wake us up. So much evil and. Wicked stuff's going on in this world. God could have been came back and got us. But God loves us so much. And they got so many people that's praying and asking God to have mercy upon this world that we live in. I say evil world because this world is evil and we live in the last times. And I want to tell you all as well, um, yesterday, I don't know anyone else going through it with their kids, families, friends, pray. Um, yesterday, the enemy tried to work through my child. You know, I had to come in my secret place. And when I go in my secret place, it means prayer time, for real, for real. You know, the enemy works through your kids because the devil know he can't get to you, so he's going to work through your children, through your family, through your so-called friends. And he worked through my child yesterday. So, I had to pray. And I had to tell the spirit, the devil, he had to get out of my house. Because you don't belong here. This is the Lord's house. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I had to open my door and tell them demons and devils to get out of my house. And I had to ask God to cover my house in the blood of Jesus. That no weapons formed against me shall prosper and speak something like the one over my life. Over my child life. Over my home. And God sent out his holy angels to camp around my house. To fight evil from trying to come in. See, we got to stay praying for our kids. See, the enemy want us to give up on our kids. But the devil is a lie. The enemy want us to talk about our kids. Put our kids down. He want us to act up. Act a fool with them. But we have to give our kids back to God. Because the only person who can help us through this is God. I had to pray. Cried out to God, said, God, give me peace in my house. I had to say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. I had to cover my child in the blood of Jesus. I have holy oil, and I cover him in the blood of Jesus every day, every night. He sleep. I prayed over him last night to release everything out of his body that's not of him. Because it's not him, it's some spirits that's trying to attack his mind behind the game. Watch what your kids play because them shooting games is dangerous. They got different spirits in them games. Devils and demons are real, okay? And all they see is blood on them games. You take them games away from the kids, what they do? Act a fool. Like you take your shoes away from your kids, what they do? Act a fool. Clothes, anything. The enemy know how to get to your kids and they would do it. So you have to put your feet down with your kids. I'm telling you, I don't know what you may be going through right now. Pray for your kids. Pray for your family. Pray for your enemies, number one. Pray for your enemies. Because I'm telling you, I've been attacked, talked about, name been drugged through the mud. But guess what? I'm still standing. I'm still blessed. I still thank God I'm alive. I'm not worried about what people say about me. They can talk about me all day long. I don't care. I still love you. Keep talking about me. God gonna keep blessing me. You call me a hypocrite. You can call me whatever you want to call me. At the end of the day, 
I'm God's child. At the end of the day, I'm fearfully and wonderful made. At the end of the day, I'm not worried about what man say. When God say, don't worry about your enemies. Pray for them. Pray for them. When they hungry, give them something to eat. When they thirst, give them something to drink. I love all my enemies. I keep them close, but not that close. Because I don't trust a lot of people. Yes, I've been hurt, but I'm healed. I have scars, but I'm healed. Because God blessed me. God healed me and God delivered me. Well, why LaShawn, why you talk about God so much? Because God changed my life. I could have been dead in them streets. When nobody knew where I was at, God knew the whole time. I had my feet halfway in the kingdom of God and I had my feet halfway in the, in the, in the world. I had to make a choice. Either God or the devil. And I'm sure not rolling with the devil. And I'd be dang if I go back into the world again. You know, I tell people, they get mad. When well, you judging me, nobody's not judging you. You're going to wish somebody saved your life from trying to go to hell, but you worrying about somebody judging you. There's some spirits in you. You judging me. You know, you know what? We all used to be of the world. We all used to be in the clubs. We all used to smoke marijuana. We all been drunk. Yeah, we did that. But God said, you know better, you do better. You know things you want to do better yourself. At a certain time, it's time to cut all that foolishness out. All this clubbing every weekend. It's time to stop all that. You 40 years old and still clubbing. I mean, don't you get tired of clubbing? It's my opinion. You know, you have an opinion, I have an opinion. But I'm just saying, I got tired of living that lifestyle. I don't go, I can't see the last time I've been to a club. Okay, but I'm not perfect. I don't come on here betraying I'm perfect. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I know where I came from. I'll tell you my testimony. You want to know my testimony? Call me. I'll tell you what I've been through. I'm not ashamed. If I didn't love you so much, I wouldn't come on Facebook. I come on Facebook all the time talking about God, how God has saved my life, how God is good. I could have been dead two, three years ago when this man almost took my life. But God covered me in the blood of Jesus. I had a praying grandma, a praying mother, a praying auntie. So I'm going to continue to spread God for the rest of my life. I don't care what the devil say. I would die for my faith. I would die for my father. Jesus died for, on the cross for our sins, for everybody's sins. And look how his words repaying him. Even hate. They spit on Jesus. They stayed, they pitched him in his side. They laughed at him. They mocked him. But guess what? At the end of the day, Jesus still loved them. He still forgave them. So what's wrong with this world right now? Why they can't forgive if Jesus forgave? That's why I talk about God so much. Because I love God with all my heart, with all my mind, and with all my soul. And God told me to continue to spread the word of God throughout this world, and I will. To the day that the Lord come back and get his children. And I will continue to raise my child. Nobody can't tell me how to raise my child. People need to start minding their own business. Get their own household together. And stop worrying about what everybody else say. I'm good over here. You know, people, they, they hide behind Facebook. They put this fake stuff on Facebook. Behind closed doors, a whole different story. I live by the verses I say on Facebook. I'll, I stand on God's words and his promises. But the devil mad because God's blessing me. This is my season. And no devil in hell can take it from me. And to you too. Don't let nobody come in your life telling you ain't nothing. You ain't gonna ever be nothing. When God said we are somebody. We are somebody. He made us. He loves us all. But he hates the sin that we live in. Stop sinning. Stop making excuses of why you still doing the things you do. I'm going to cut off right there because my time is winding down. And I already know how it is. You're going to get so many talk minutes, you know. But I'm here to tell you, stay encouraged. Get closer to God. You haven't said God is your Lord and Savior. It's time now, tonight, tomorrow, today, and I promise to nobody. When you die, it's too late. You can't say, God, nobody told me. I'm telling you. Your brother in Christ telling you. And we didn't love you so much. Do you think we'd be on Facebook or going out into the world telling you to get right with God? We love you. 
We doing this to let you know. No matter what you didn't been through, no matter how your life is right now, God can fix it. Give it to God. Let go. Be blessed. I'll be back on here later to tell my other testimony about happening in church last Sunday. Be blessed. I love you all and thank you all for supporting my videos. Be blessed.